Greetings, everyone, from the studio that brought you very gorgeous sprite games, brings you very good-looking, older sprite-based games from the arcade days. Yes, it's SNK's 40th anniversary. Uh, this was provided to us via code, so thank you, SNK. I... 40 years? <laughs> You're old! <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, uh, I was looking over this video before we started, and uh, I didn't know SNK was particularly well known for stuff that was older than what I'm used to seeing from them. This is way before the kind of sprite work I associate with SNK. <laughs> well, most of these come out in the mid to late 80s, so... Yeah. Oh, they have both the uh, arcade uh, and the console versions for some Yeah, I love actually... these arcade collections where they have, like, good version of game... Worst version of game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the days of NES and Master System ports are just bizarre. Like, you've got the, the arcade version of Galaga, like, absolute classic. And then you have the NES version of Galaga, like, three ships are on screen at once. And Piece of hot garbage. <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is a collection of, obviously, older games. Arcade and console versions were applicable. Um, this is kind of your fairly standard collection of old games that it does come like a lot of good ones lately this comes with you know a rewind feature that i'll be showing once whenever i die for the first time here because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. these kind of games it really is only a matter of time yeah, yeah. and K, of course is known for a lot of arcade games even though they do have like their sort of home console and their neo geo pocket uh so most snk games that you get nowadays are either going to be fighting games where it really doesn't matter and uh well metal slug where it being on a console or a pc kind of <laughs> yeah makes it so that you, there's no challenge anymore <laughs> the prince Great of persia time. plays at the I, arcade I, I would much rather have this than losing three lives and then having to start over again yeah and you know i'm not i'm not necessarily knocking it but a lot of the games were definitely designed with the arcade in mind, and it shows. Yeah. <laughs> Space Cavatos! Sweet, sweet, sweet quarters. Uh, so is there just the rewind feature, or is there a more standard... Um... There are there are saving options. Okay. It will save your place okay. if you decide to leave. That's You know what? That's <laughs> uh, also the... <laughs> good, because, you know, back when I was... These kinds of compilations, while, uh, while they're certainly a lot more convenient nowadays, they were coming out on the GameCube and su stuff as well. And I, so when I was playing a lot of these kinds of old game compilations on there, the idea of not being able to save my game, because a lot of them didn't have that feature in the middle, was like, what? But what if I don't finish? I want to keep on playing. I don't want to start all the way from the beginning. So, you know, me and my... I am not good at top-down shooters. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, top-down shooters are one of the things that SNK does quite a lot of. That and, Every... you know... Yeah. Sideways shooters. Everything's a premonition until you win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I cover most of the games in this compilation, but not all of them, though. There are a couple that are a bit samey, and three Akari Warrior games around here, I figure we didn't need to go over all three of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, SNK does a lot of shoot-em-ups. Quite a lot of shoot-em-ups. Oh, God, so many shoot-em-ups. Which is so... Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is... Uh, you know, uh, being honest, I I'm not very familiar with SNK circa 1980s and uh, below because to them I almost know them exclusively as those that make fighting games so I, it's really interesting to see how different a time was for them at this at this point well fighting games fighting games and uh, metal slug it's, fighting games and, metal their slug, yeah. and it's interesting the, how much different the arcade scene got once consoles became a thing you know because before the NES because even on Atari, you know, most of the ge console games were very similar to their arcade counterparts, but once... Or they were complete shit based on the Atari. Yeah, that's true. But once you got <laughs> to the NES, you know, they were starting to get different kinds of games that you really couldn't do on the arcade. And so arcade experiences tended to stray away from stuff like Donkey Kong or uh, Galaga and into stuff with... That might still be similarly quarter muncher or... That's a word now. I just made it up. But they do have, like, a definitive ending, you know? And then Street Fighter 2 came out in the early 90s, and that changed everything, too, as well. So, you know, it's just... It's something really interesting to think about. And there's a lot of that kind of... I think from what I've seen in the list, there's a lot of that post-NES but pre-Street Fighter 
kind of games here, which is really, really very much so. Yeah, which is really interesting. There, there are some very weird games in here, like a tray. I think that's Athena. 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 Oh, Athena. Oh yeah, Athena. they. Oh, I remember because this is one of those games that got like a like starts off really, really cutesy Japanese here with the arcade version, and the American box art. NES version is very different. Is like no, we can't. Anime doesn't exist. <laughs> so. that, that, that's, that's the uh, wallpaper on your screen. You definitely want your parents to walk in on while you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. And I'm dead. What is this, anime girl Alex Kidd, or what? <laughs> I mean, functionally. But uh, this is one of the more interesting ones because it's so different from the rest of the collection. You basically just collect other weapons, and that boosts your strength. Oh. Unfortunately. The wow. only real problem is that enemies just respawn constantly. This is old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a this is a fossil. Oh, jeez. Right, look at the character design on the right there. I want I want you to play. Like, can you spot the nose and mouth? Because <laughs> goddamn. Do you know what that actually yeah. looks like? One of those meme faces that they make out of emojis, where they squish the <laughs> facial features in really close to each other. It's like sucking on a lemon. Oh man! Yeah. <laughs> what year was this one? Uh, I have to check. It's a, like I said, it's an interesting idea, but I think this was at the time where, like you said, that just after NES period where they were experimenting on how to make the NES style gameplay work in arcades. Man, I think I'd actually have an easier time getting into Jill of the Jungle right now. <laughs> It's uh, they. I think they've actually released some new art for some of these because I I did a quick search for SNK 40th anniversary collection and one of the first things I saw was an updated art of Athena and yes she is still just wearing the bikini but her facial features are right this time so you know that's that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the nose to mouth ratio is one to one. I I imagine the uh, artwork for a lot of these games and characters haven't hasn't been updated since the 80s. Probably yeah. Well, I got a blue lightsaber. It kind of had to be like uber simplistic shit, because um, well, that that'll probably have to be bleeped out. Uh, it, it'll it had to be uber simplistic, because it had to be translated into really simple graphics. I'm never gonna get used to the resets <laughs> to the <Yeah>. rewind. <laughs> so <laughs> this one specifically was 1986. So the, yeah, I heard of a Same. Super Mario. <laughs> Or Legend of Zelda. Well, I, maybe aesthetically it was going for some Zelda, but Zelda uh, might not have been out when this was being developed. So, but Mario definitely was. So even that, yeah, yeah, I would think the Mario parallels are more obvious than Zelda, because Zelda at this point only had the top-down game, mm -hmm. yeah, and I don't think it would. I don't think it. Uh, a sword and shield was enough to say, oh, it's totally Zelda, as if Zelda was the only game to use the sword and shield. Your sword is enough. <laughs> Side scrolling a hide light, anyone? Well, it's actually not even more of a sword. It's more of like a, like one of those like those foam it's, rods it's that you take ball to a football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. It's a <laughs> wiffle ball bat. <laughs> uh, Athena in a bikini with a wiffle ball. Is that a bat. McDonald's mascot? Is that the grimace? <laughs> are we? Are we? The grimace is, was a are those milkshake. Those actual armadillos. <laughs> Uh, Those are actually armadillos. Uh, this game is the greatest thing oh, wow, I've ever seen. Oh, you're getting swarmed. You should I'm probably trapped. get out of that crevice. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I love that really old school gaming thing where enemies constantly respawn from off screen. Oh yeah, because you move two feet to the left, that that enemy uh, exists again. It didn't die. What are you talking about? And then it keeps re-existing the moment you kill it because you're just in that magic position. My favorite is when you move to the left but haven't killed it yet, and then now there's two of them, so it cloned. <laughs> That's the best. Oh, wow. This is... Well, this I mean, I will... Like, again, we can make fun of how old it is, but from what I can tell, like, there's actually some attempt at exploration and stuff here. So, like, you could go left up the... Oh after God. you... If you could somehow get up that... That... <laughs> that vine. You probably could try to go left there and see what happens, you know? So, I mean, granted, it's archaic, but the ambition is certainly noted. I also, if you're, you if, you're getting an old if you're getting an old arcade compilation, you're kind of expecting a little bit of archaicness. Yeah. I don't I don't think you could go left, actually. I think the screen locks and only, and only scrolls to the right. Which was a... 
kind of a common thing with arcade side scrollers, actually. Oh, uh, I thought that pit you would have died if you jumped into it. But yeah, it was. Nope. Ex exploration. Was that? That's a yeah. helmet. Oh, I thought it was wall meat. You know, wall helmet. <laughs> <laughs> wall helmet. You're looking a bit underdressed there. Oh, so now. Yeah, was... Oh, okay. So you know what? This might be one of those games you need the manual for. But it's interesting, like you found a thing and now you can see where the power-ups are in the walls and stuff. I, is, isn't this an arcade game of some sort? Uh, yeah, it is. Well, there's a, there's a, there's a home console version. So, yeah. yeah which but is but, part but of the this is the arcade if, version. If you need yeah. the manual for it, how could you play it in an arcade? Got a yellow page. Uh, you yell at the manager <laughs> until they give you the arcade manual, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess. I, I, I don't know. It's kind of like the reverse Ghosts and Goblins. Where you're, you're trying to put your clothes back on. <laughs> well, no, you're trying to get the armor in that game too. <laughs> Only if you get hit, though. Yeah, but you, know, you start off. Fall, you, you start off in your underwear, and then you get the armor. Though I think is more what he means. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Wait, was that Dracula? Oh no, no. It's... Nope, no. That, that was an evil wizard. And now here's Chrysalis. Oh, so this is this is definitely this is definitely your Zelda game. So I've heard a lot of really good things about this game. Uh, there is no arcade equivalent for this one, but I. Uh, in the future year of 1997. <laughs> <laughs> 19 XTX. <laughs> yeah. Man. Uh, you know what? They, they might be off on the year, but this is relatively accurate to the state of the world as we know it. Uh, uh, Crystallis did have a console release. Well, no, it was uh, only it was a console ver uh, There was only a console. Only a console. Okay, okay. So this yeah, is because this is like an action said. RPG. The game's actually fairly long, all things considered. Because I've watched a few playthroughs of this, and it looks really, really solid. Like this is probably mm. the game I would be most excited to get if I were to pick up this collection myself. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's easily the biggest game of the collection, which is nice to have at least a couple things that are longer in there. Oh, it actually got a release in the Game Boy Color, and I dread to think how much it costs. Uh, mm. do you want me to? Probably do you a want lot. me to do the check, John? I mean, I can do a check. I'm already talking uh, okay. to Google. <laughs> okay. Uh, high low, eighty bucks. That's my guess. Okay. Uh, let's see. You know, for for a game of this of, of uh, from this time period, the English is surprisingly not broken. So far. <laughs> well, this <laughs> so yeah. far so good. This was a later game. This was 1990. So, I mean, granted, that doesn't mean much because there's still, still games with, bro <laughs> with broken English on the Super Nintendo. But yes, for that that stuff continued straight up into the PlayStation era. <laughs> yeah. So, but yes, it is a very impressive translation for <laughs> input code game. name. What is this? A Metal Gear Solid RPG? No, that'll be later. What? <laughs> oh, and actually, it's only going for like twenty bucks. Oh wow! Oh really? really? Oh okay. Yeah. In my, Both the NES game and the uh, my my obscure game retro game price guessing is all out of whack now. Yeah, I hope <laughs> you run a shop, Ted, so everybody will take advantage of you. Man, this is looking. <laughs> this is looking some. Like, I also I when he's going on the sides, he looks normal, but going down, he looks like he has a massive beard because that little those two little. <laughs> pink, pink pixels <laughs> look like his mouth. I can't unsee that now. Like a really uh, long face. Oh, like beard. Afro guy from Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Th this is looking like some fantasy star stuff. Okay, now it's more like Final Fantasy, but yeah. <laughs> um, fa yeah, see, it looks like a beard. A few seconds ago. Yeah, his. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> like an action RPG, so it's not really like your typical turn-based kind of stuff. It's much closer to something like the later Ease games. If I had to. If I had to describe it, ima it. Uh, uh, ma imagine if Zelda Two and Zelda One did a fusion dance, mm. if that makes any and sense. And were much faster yeah, kinda. paced as well. Well, and, yeah, and much faster paced. And had diagonal movement. Yeah, and it yeah. controlled well. <laughs> That's another, another thing because the the controls in the old Zelda games are super clunky. So, oh, you could buy weed. Oh. When, when was this? Ah, game? we're in Canada. <laughs> when was this game in relation to Zelda One? Uh, this game came out. Uh, in this came out. So several years. Okay. It's it's amazing how much the the NES could do if you compare those later years to those early years because like 1985 compared to the stuff they do in 1990 or 1991 it's it's amazing. Well, that had more to do with storage capacity of the cartridges rather than the raw system power. Yeah, but it's just it's it's amazing how much better 
that they, they were able to make the graphics and control for hmm. these games and how much more ambitious they were able to get with this them. This is looking a bit like Light Crusader right now. Yeah, and you can charge up the sword too to shoot the energy beam. It's not tied to your health. So, uh, the, the title of the game like uh, struck a chord with me and I couldn't for the life of me figure out why <laughs> until I went to look at my game collection in the back. I actually own this game. <laughs> that animal is going QQ. I love it when these translated games actually transliterate the Japanese version of an animal sound because those. Okay, the Japanese suck at imitating animal sounds. <laughs> Just saying. Uh. I'm out of money. Well, you just bought. But I have some armor. But yeah, but now you're not naked, so uh, you know. One green shirt, please, because it's still purple in the overworld. I put it under my purple shirt. Also, what's with your beard? It keeps disappearing and reappearing. Well, it's nice to know we haven't advanced too far past Zelda One. We're still thrusting our sword straight out instead of slashing it. Ow! Maybe he's in defensing. Ugh! A wild slime appeared and wrecked your shit. Um, Not only did like two damage. Oh, I forgot that you can make glowy energy fields around yourself in this. Yeah, you could you can charge your you can hold you can hold B to charge your laser. I'm definitely seeing the comparison to East. You move around really fast in this game. Yeah. Tiger bipedal tigers. <laughs> yeah, but thank bipedal future mutant tigers. Thankfully you don't have to rub your face against the enemies to do damage though, so that that helps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> East one and two were really awkward to get used to because you kinda had to come at the enemies like all diagonals skewed and stuff so that their counterattacks wouldn't hit. Uh the wow. year is 1987. Bipedal tigers have assassinated the president. <laughs> oh, Not man. just bipedal tigers, bipedal mutant future tigers. This is, this is really <laughs> something else. <laughs> I mean, I'm intrigued. Uh, so, uh, are the backgrounds preset for every game? Can you turn them off or change them or whatever? I believe, you, yeah, you can turn them off and stuff. Okay. I don't know how many collections like these you can, or you just turn it off. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how many each one has. It may just depend on the game. All right. But yeah, they all they all have the means to change based on either their American versions or just not at all. All right. You know, the the thing about this is, I only really hear about SNK much for, on YouTube from mostly from. Uh, British video makers, actually. It seems to have been fairly popular over there, uh, SNK in general. But I rarely ever hear anything about this particular era. Did we just walk into the cave from Pokemon? Uh, well, we're not anyway. getting well, stopped well, every one? three steps, so no, we haven't. Yeah, it's not. I'm surprised, actually. We didn't head in there and there's no bats at all. Huh. Man, don't you ever okay. just walk into someone's house yeah. and stab all of their machinery before leaving? You, 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 you show those walls who's boss, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to interact with things. <laughs> Dead end. There must, be some, there must be something there. Man, these no. realistic caves that are just holes in the mountains with nothing in them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this and game. this slime hit me back into the cave. No this game was ahead of its time. time. <laughs> oh. Step aside, Shenmue. This was the future of gaming before the future of gaming. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's a fun little game. I like. I enjoyed this. I'll probably go back to it. Yeah, I hear a lot of... This is one of those cult NES cult classics that is still kind of a cult classic because people don't a actually don't talk about it all the time. You know, if that makes sense. <laughs> because yeah, a not, lot of people are it, like... But it's not Little Samson Obscure. Yeah, you know. So, it's... Yeah, this, this game is probably one of the ones I'm most interested in <laughs> Ryan <laughs> give me a kiss you son of a bitch <laughs> no you've done Have that sword fiend you've done that like six or seven times so far in this video just rewinding directly into the same death ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we've still got half an hour to go sixteen dollars oh. <laughs> for a hit need to rest please stay <laughs> no don't go I'm I gave you your sixteen dollars <laughs> I'm lonely I would imagine everyone else has a house and you're running the only inn and you don't want a beard that only appears when I walk south. <laughs> hey man, shaving cream's hard to come by in the year 1997. Also, do you not have shoes? Uh, I, I guess I haven't equipped any. Huh. But I have a, I have a leather, I have a leather vest thing. <laughs> you remember the wrist, wristbands? 
Oh, wait, hold on. It's like, wait, does, the character wait, in the cover is uh, oh, No, wait. The character's cover, and then the cover, is, his feet is obscured. Do, does the Rob character's Liefeld. character model change when you equip stuff? A uh, little bit, it seems. Huh? No, no, it's looking any different to me. Hmm. Well, I mean, it, that's, a, that's fine. It, you know, that's... It's 8-bit game. I'm not expecting that kind of detail. Yeah, fair enough. I mean... Mm, trying to think of the early. Open game. your secret wall, well, the original, old man. The original Dragon Warrior had you do that. Once you you don't have a sword in your hand until you equip the sword. Same with the shield. Yeah. Apart from that, the earliest game I can think of that does that does it is. Ugh, I'm gonna mention Highlight again, uh, the, the Super Nintendo one. Uh, no one can see me if I hide in these trees. The perfect camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm hiding behind the tops of the trees. You know that Aloy chick has it really good. All the grass is the color of her hair. Me, I'm purple. I, I can't hide for anything. Yeah. <laughs> I can't hide in anything except the purple drink factory. <laughs> oh, so you probably? Oh, excellent. Your level is, in is increased. It that's oh, my excellent. <laughs> You're violet. You see? Yeah, you get me. Oh, so now you can go since you talked to that guy. That building that you tried to ransack earlier has probably got stuff in it now. I'm guessing, right? Probably. You'll probably have to figure it out yourself, though, because I don't go much further than this. There's a keyhole in the computer. Yeah, well, there's okay. a hole of something. You gotta give the factory its crucifix back. Maybe if you stick your sword in it, it'll work. I stick my sword in everything, and it seems to work. These Nosers, RPG. No. These RPG here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when I was well, this guy here is like saying you should have put the sword inside the hole, man. So when I was a kid, I always thought that when people were talking about guerrilla warfare, they were talking about guerrilla warfare. So <laughs> as in with actual gorillas. Yes. You see, I was gonna make the pun, but you got there first, Ted. <laughs> well, that wasn't a pun. That was just me being dumb. So yeah. This is a very weird game because you move with the left stick, but you aim with the right stick. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you ever play Geometry Wars? Yes. Yeah. That's, uh... Well, I would say that's Hotline Miami, but this is no Hotline Miami. <laughs> also, um... Based on the sprite detail, and a tank will be able to control later, also with the hostages you have to rescue, this may very well be a precursor to, in some regards, to Metal Slug. Just top down. So yeah. this game was actually named. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna mispronounce this. Gu Guevara in Japan, and it was based off of Che, Guer Gu che, che Guerra. Che Guerra's actual like political, <laughs> political. You, you keep ideas shooting the hostages. Warfare. You are a terrible human being. <laughs> War. Yeah, this is, is looking a lot like Shock Troopers. Um, it, mini tank. I am the tank. This game also has a lot of similarities with uh, Ikari Warriors, which is also on this on this. Call. All th three three Ikari Warriors games are on this. All three of them. Yeah. I have not played. I, I only I only show the first one because obviously they're all very similar games. Man, these video games are ruining our children's childhoods. Are they? With their like burning soldiers and their and and, and their cartoonishly small tanks. Man, they should they should watch more wholesome entertainment like we do. So a whole bunch of westerns <laughs> about shooting cowboys. That's way less violent. Or how I about World like War II? I how there movies? is actually yeah. a game where you you are actually controlling as Che Guevara and Fidel Castro, <laughs> at least in the Japanese version of the game. Are you even trying not to shoot the cat the hostages? I'm trying to survive. <laughs> You have the power to rewind time. <laughs> you can afford to save the hostages. What sort of messed up timeline do we live in where the Prince of Persia was involved <laughs> in the Cuban Revolution? <laughs> it's 1987. <laughs> Bipedal mutant tigers from the future have caused the Cubans to get involved in Imagine warfare. being an actual soldier with the power to slightly rewind time whenever things go wrong. You would die like 50 times a day and nobody but you would know it. <laughs> che Guerra, isn't that I've the entire come premise to of, um, Isn't that, <laughs> the, entire one of guy happy, isn't that this, the entire premise of Happy Death Day? This one guy in this one tank is giving you so much shit. <laughs> that might be the fifth or sixth time he's. It's almost you. like he's an on-foot soldier trying to fight a tank. Snake is a very going cartoonish total tank. tank. Snake has the power of anime on his side, though. 
Well, you mean Segway doesn't have the power of anime on this side? I, I mean, not as far as I know. <laughs> also, if you really don't want to rewind time, all these arcade games have infinite continues. Or infinite oh, credits. Right. Okay. That's, that's good. You don't have to, like, press the button to add them. Like Rewind... Yeah. Okay, so the I mean, but what I mean is you don't there isn't a button for like add quarter, they're just infinite from the start. Yeah. Okay, that's good because as as minor of a nitpick that this is, having to mash the 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 button in order to add more continues in the metal slug port is the tiniest bit inconvenient. So, you know. That's in case got your back, Ted. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's I know the, I know like the things in the forward that's limited number of credits now. Well, no, yeah, it, it runs out, it gives you a game over, and you just hit A, and you start over with two credits. Oh, I see. I, I know they're trenches, but I keep thinking they're bottomless pits. Ikari Warriors! Wow, look at that. Human and anime. <laughs> Those why, why, why is Freddie Mercury on the Ikari Warriors? These guys are the most disinterested soldiers I've seen in a long time. <laughs> No, oh, you try hanging out in a trench for two days. Yeah, but I think I'd be exhausted and terrified, not, yeah, whatever, <laughs> enemies. Yeah, these guys are getting ready for the Akari Warriors porn film. <laughs> the guy on the left, especially. Yeah, the Freddie Mercury lookalike. Yeah. SNK sure does love the shoot 'em ups So... They were very popular back in the day, so... So... That's why. Okay, so in this game, when you're playing two-player, could you shoot your, your allies or not? Uh... Well, I guess we'll have to ask Uncle. <laughs> you remember when Rambo went into the jungle and showered everyone with white pellets, and then all the and then all the enemies did ballet spins before they toppled over. Hey, you yeah. know it, it's just one of those Caribbean snowball fights that you have all the time. You know how it as is. as you do. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely see the 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 early vestiges of what would become Metal Slug in these early. Uh, uh, SNK yeah, shoot 'em ups. It's actually funny that you mentioned Rambo. This game actually was inspired by Rambo, uh, at least the uh, the second film, uh, First Blood Part Two, because that, really? that that movie uh, uh, in Japan was Rambo Ikari no Dashutsu. I would never and, have guessed. And, and instead of Metal Slug, we have Iron Tank. I thought that was Dolph Lundgren for a second there, <laughs> on the left of the screen. Oh yeah, your main character's name in this game, Snake. Dolph. Just Snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you get you get a uh, you get a uh, telecom calls and everything. Huh? Me metal tank, snake. Iron? No, iron tank. Iron tank. <laughs> iron gear. They iron gear. Be. That's a big Wait, L. No, uh, know, <laughs> iron tank. It, possi it, it can't possibly be. We, we couldn't afford steel, so it had to just be regular old iron. The first two letters, we just grab those L and V. Is the true purpose of this game to find the love? Also, there's actually no, the like, on top and the L's on the bottom. Like oh, is this one of those stuff. cases where there's branching pathways? Yes, and you also have different weapons you can choose from. Yeah. It has a bit more depth than the Akari Warriors and yeah, I think that's the, the previous one. From uh, this is one of those that were only console versions, right? Yeah. So that makes a decent amount of sense because since it's not just trying to eat your quarters, they're trying to add a little bit more depth. Wow. Yeah. Pressing, no, pre I'm, pre I'm pressing A. Thanks. You know, they, Thanks. They, Thanks. <laughs> they did that Payment, kind of, please. They, they did that kind of thing with uh, arcade games, too, although they usually did it in, in more um, replay value ways, like Shock Troopers has um, different starting points and different branching paths within the, the different pathways you can take. So you got, like, I don't know, three three different start points that have three different pathways to the ultimate end goal but along those those pathways you can you can sort of uh hop aside to the other pathway <laughs> oh god yeah. ow no wonder they put a seizure warning at the beginning of this jesus christ uh, that game yeah yeah good old 8-bit explosions basically the only way you could give them impact yeah. was to have the entire screen flash and make your eyeballs bleed exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's red. But still, this <laughs> one does seem to have really a lot more exploration value to it, and uh, at the because you know you can't have fifteen enemies on screen at all times. So I this one seems interesting to w me as well. Was your tank just sort of fret French kiss kissing the level border and rapid firing into it so that we couldn't see you shooting? Yeah. Huh. Wow! I, I, ex I exploded. <laughs> You die in the game, and you die in real life. It's like SAO before <laughs> SAO. All right, Snake, we only have one tank left. Make a count. 
I have a call. Snake. <laughs> Snake, what'd you do to my tank? Oh, man. It's warning you about a boss. <laughs> Thing. I always did enjoy like the the warning for uh, a Kong boss fight, particularly in top down shooters too. It just I don't know. I, I like Get, the uh, gets I, you I like the aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, it gets you hyped. As long as it doesn't have an obnoxious, you know, alarm. The boss is a bigger tank. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, it, I, it I makes was just sense. about to say <laughs> if it can only shoot down, this is going to be easy. No. It's well, no, it has a spread shot, though. but if Ryan will keep his distance, he can't get hit by anything. Well, the problem is he's faster than me when he actually decides to move. But he only moves up and down. That's the thing. No, he moves around. And I'm, Does he? I'm guessing yeah. you can only shoot in the okay, direction yeah. you're moving well, as that doesn't well. make any sense. <laughs> wow. It can't, it can't like, turn its body, and it's got no. treads. It's clearly got treads on so, its It's pretty military-grade <laughs> military Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sweep up your troops. <laughs> It does Sweeping up the POWs. Sort of like High-tech street sweeper, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, man. We're out of tanks, sir. <laughs> Mounts of guns on the street sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's year 1987. Instead of tries to Roomba warfare has achieved Bipedal lines. tigers from the future have equipped the street tanks with larvas and militias. <laughs> My fiddle tigers are getting more advanced. <laughs> I know, right? Why do we keep letting them do this? So is this your sacrifice the tank and ram it into the other tank strategy? No, I'm rewinding a lot. Why don't they just use <laughs> light speed to shoot tanks into tanks in all of the movies? Gosh. Man. <laughs> this might have been a little easier if you went in with more than one unit of health. Yeah. You gotta pretty much do a no damage run. Remaining tank zero. Get ready. What? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Here's your tank. But We're we just have... gonna go Maximo style. Nothing but boxer shorts and a sword. Man. I need to play Maximo again. This is oh. our this is our zeroth tank snake. You better be. <laughs> you're right outside. Oh no, you're just tanking the damage. I thought you were right outside. Tanking the damage. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I try. I thought you were right outside of its range, but no. No. I love how in old games, trees are the most indestructible objects of all time. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, great. they are in modern games, too. Yeah, I know, but it's just like, okay, the, the, the tree can withstand more tank fire than the tank can. You know. Oh, yeah, so can you do you know how to switch your weapon type? Because I saw that there was more than one type of weapon. Yeah, you have to go into the menu and select it. Ah, uh, okay. So, like, old Mega Man, then, all right. Yeah. Oh, he's flashing red. He's almost... Yeah! Yeah! That's another, that's another thing they probably wouldn't have done if it was an arcade game, uh, going into the menu to switch things up all the time. Yeah, you probably I, would just... Just have another a swap weapon button. Yeah, you can't have mechanics that waste a lot of time in an arcade game. Yeah, so either it would be a button, or you'd just swap your weapon as soon as you picked it up. And yeah, multiple branching paths. Ooh, fancy. Stop running into me. Stop <laughs> running into probably me. probably went right. <laughs> Where did you learn to fly? <laughs> I'm not flying. I'm driving a tank. Uh, no, he was asking that plane that just showed up. <laughs> Another call from random person. Oops. <laughs> if it's important to leave a voicemail. <laughs> Sorry, Please I don't do not hang up. This is a notice about your energy bill. <laughs> <laughs> Why would a spy give you a long-range bullet ability? Uh, does he have a, a sniper rifle? I don't, I don't know. Why didn't you just Wait, give me uh, the long-range bullet ability when you gave me the tank? The spy is named Tommy J, and he's a POW. Hey, your name's Tommy, right? Shut up! Ah, everyone's favorite game. Pow. Bang. Zoom. Automatopia. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beat-em-up. Huh. Oh my god. We've got some genre variety going on here. Don't you love it when you can concentrate so hard you can explode doors, but then you go on to just kick people instead? <laughs> How did this guy get the materials for a bomb in that cell? Uh, he snuck it in. I, I don't want to ask where he was hiding that Pure shit. determination. Up his ass. Or something. With the watch. Yeah, that was the joke, John. Thanks. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> 
you have a you, you have a you have a you have a Batman punch. You have a back fist. That's yeah, you have something a, a lot, something that would help a lot of be- beat 'em ups. To be honest, I hope Streets of Rage Four has that. <laughs> so this came out in 1988. So this was a little bit before the beat 'em up explosion of the early 90s, where you know you saw games like Streets of Rage, Final Fight. Oh uh, yeah. With, uh, That's not to say that there weren't uh, there weren't popular beat 'em ups at that point. Oh yeah, like, Double Dragon was probably already out by this. You point. know, when they were doing consoles where you played games off frickin' cassette tapes, there were there were games like this. Well, it's one of the uh, most basic concept for a game, a.k.a. punch dudes until you win, yeah. so. <laughs> also, I think Bad Dudes is already thinking of this. No, Bad Dudes is 1988 as well. Yeah, so they were coming out around the same time, but. So it's, it's actually, it's interesting to me how much closer this is to what would become kind of our idea of what a beat-em-up is before those games kind of came up, because it looks already like you can pick up that knife or gun Kind of like yeah, how you, you can, can pick up weapons in Streets of Rage. Yeah, it's 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 it, it wasn't a totally uncommon thing, uh, although the gun is kind of you don't see that often. <laughs> Direct. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, but like there's stuff like River City Ransom and all of that. Where... Yeah, that's true. It's I think it's more um, like this, so. This is just a little bit, you know. It's adopting a lot of those ideas before, I guess they were standard in many of these kinds of games because I don't remember Bad Dudes, for example, having weapons you could pick up or anything like that. Although it might. We only played like 10 minutes of it when we made our video on that. So do you have a punch at all? I mean, apart yeah. from the back fist? Yeah, you do. You have okay. a kick, punch, backhand, and jump. But you're just using the kick because it's just playing better. <laughs> well, yeah. it's got more range. Oh. So. <laughs> well, the punch, it does do more damage, oh, it from does? what I can tell. Okay. Is it any faster than the kick? It's about the same speed, but it's shorter range. Oh. That's not how punching works. Well, because he, he just he, instead of throwing his fist out, he decides to do an uppercut most of the time. Oh, he's one of those fighters who absolutely has to telegraph everything. Bruce Lee would and hate believes this guy. in nothing but <laughs> denim. Hey, man, it's comfy and practical. No, it's not. Okay, no, it isn't. Blue jeans guy, you're the reason Bruce Lee's fighting style in his movies is so different than what it is in real you life. You can't. I was going to try to run from them for a second, but they were faster. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to fight them, but they got a knife. <laughs> Although nobody knows how to actually use a knife, they just throw it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that says heli. Okay, I thought it was like hell <laughs> this way. <laughs> you had to hell, Michigan. <laughs> I'm halfway home. You had to go all the way to the second ladder, didn't you? Prehistoric Isle. This is actually a pretty interesting game because it's a side shooter, but you... Your option you can control with the right stick and aim in different ways with it. Oh wow, yeah. really? That's yeah. That's not something you'd see until way later, I don't think. So this is probably something that you could probably only do that on arcade. And as far yeah, I'm looking up on the website right now. Green this... oh, oh we have, we have edgies on a green hell aisle <laughs> instead of green hill aisle. Yeah, so there's uh, this was only an arcade release. This never got a console port ever. Which if it until had until now, if it had two stick aiming, uh, that makes sense because you couldn't do anything like this on a console until the PlayStation. It, it's a very it's a very nice looking game. Yeah, the we graph. Get to play yeah, the look at all those frames of animation on those uh, pterodactyl wings. Oh, it is it is it is SNK after all. We, we get to play as the as the Costa Rican military bombers that destroyed Isla Nublar at the end of the book. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you can yeah see you can you control the option with your right stick and aim in different directions along what, with your regular shot. What the hell kind of dinosaur is that? <laughs> the, the a rock big, monster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not a that's not uh, <laughs> uh, a known species. Uh, of dinosaur. It's, Make it's, shit up a sore. It's the ancient Bowsersaurus. <laughs> also, you mean the Koopasaurus? Uh, in no, ju- well, only in Japan. Hmm. But aren't they called Koopas? In, uh, well, in he's that? King Koopa in Japan, and the race is called Koopas in... Uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Prehistoric uh, bees! Uh. Mosquitoes. Well, they, so they're, they're going to co- land on a tree and get covered in sap, and then millions of years later, you won't be able to do anything with them because the DNA would have degraded, and that's why Jurassic Park is the most scientifically inaccurate story ever. <laughs> okay, you just suck the fun out of everything, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, you don't die by touching walls in this game, from what I remember. Oh, thank Christ. Maybe I'd actually be decent at this space shooter, then. 
or dinosaur shooter, I suppose. Yeah, no, it's, like, it's not really a space shooter. You, you, your your enemies are dinosaurs. Well, you are flying in space, just not out of space. This Ryan. is the most vertical jun jungle ever. Also, these mm -hmm. trees must be several miles tall as well. That's what I was saying. <laughs> it is. It, it's like this is some Super Mario Galaxy plant life going on. Did you know that pterodactyls technically are not dinosaurs? Oh god, it is Isla Nublar. This is basically what the mountains looked like in that movie. It's like the most What are the pterodactyls, more the birds? Most, the most vertical plant life ever. Oh man. I can hear the theme playing. I can see Alan Grant wrestling with his seatbelt as we fight. Uh, AAA, the second most common arcade <laughs> horror of all time. The other second one being ASS, ASS, of course. Yeah. The difference between hey, somebody who just does not care and the person who do. cares a little too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. It's, it, it's a Vector Man dinosaur. Yeah, oh. That could have ended better. This species of dinosaur is part of a new type of, of creature known as a airplaneivore. <laughs> they were cultivated by the bipedal tigers. They, they identified this as a Brachiosaurus, <laughs> presumably because of the long neck, but I've never seen a Brachiosaurus with a nose horn. Usually, you know, those are the ones with the big bulbous heads and often a nostril on their forehead, although I'm pretty sure that's considered inaccurate now. Science lied to us. PSS. Yeah, I was only missing the eye and he would have this. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we came to the Lost World to study. Dinosaurs taking a piss in the corner. <laughs> I mean, Levine, what was the deal with that? I mean, honestly, probably one of the best things a scientist could find is a perfectly preserved piece of dinosaur poop, because that would make us know what they ate and would reveal all sorts of stuff about them. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Get this, they actually ate airplanes. <laughs> airplanes from the 1930s, no less. Yeah. <laughs> Damn bipedal tigers. <laughs> or would they be biplane tigers? But <laughs> oh no, they're still the they're still the bipedal tigers. Yeah, they're just riding biplanes. Allosaurus. How many fingers does it have? It's only got two fingers. That's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Damn it! Look at those legs. I love those legs. <laughs> hey, it's shaking its what? butt at us. That is inappropriate. <laughs> It's dancing. <laughs> so that's what it looks like it's doing. The open the floor, get on, open the door, get on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. <laughs> could, could dinosaurs tilt their heads that far back? Oh man, the dinosaurs yeah. in this game are a real trip. <laughs> is is the island shaped like an ankylosaurus? Wow. Well, moving on to Psycho Soldier. Or Cho Soldier. Ah, there we go. Nope, Psycho. Ah, uh, voice They said samples. it, it's like a soldier. Oh no, this one has a song in it. This is another shoot 'em up. <laughs> but nope. no, but you, you. Oh, now you're an anime girl. Yep. Oh, the second player's the anime boy. That's you know suddenly I'm getting flashbacks. Oh, this says oh you play as Athena. I'm wondering if that's the same Athena from the game Athena. I don't know. She's oh, know, she, she, she's playing an idol song though. <laughs> this yeah. is like. The opposite of Nights into Dreams, you you, you you turn into the little kid in order to gain powers. Yeah, yeah, the magic clown oh. just sits idly. Oh, okay, <laughs> so the star of Psycho Soldier is Athena Asa Mia, a schoolgirl who seems to be a direct descendant of the first Athena. Um, she's, oh, they are related. She's joined by C. Kenso, who would go on to join the King of Fighters roster alongside Athena. Okay, that's... All right. Wait. Okay. But what? But where do the bipedal tigers fit in? <laughs> like I know, King of Fighters is technically supposed to, supposed to be a cross crossover series, although I think a lot of people in the West know the characters directly from King of Fighters more than yeah. anything. Like East Howard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they haven't made like a what is it, Fatal Fury, where many of the characters come from. Like they haven't made one of those since like the the 90s. The and, 90s, yeah, yeah. It's only really been King of Fighters since then. I'm still awaiting the triumphant return of Blue Mary SNK. Please make it happen. <laughs> but still, yeah, uh, this, this game came out when? Uh, 1987? So even for arcade, having voice clips, which are clean for the time, <laughs> I should say, would be re relatively impressive. This wasn't too far off from Moonwalker. 
Uh, yeah, except the screen won't stop scrolling. When did Moonwalker come out? Uh, arcade Moonwalker? Yeah. Uh, give me one second. I believe it was... Because the movie was like 91, wasn't it? Uh, no, 1990. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's not... It's a, it's a few years. It's a few years before that. I'm sorry. The combination of the death scream and that just tumbling off the screen as if you just got knocked slightly to the side was... Oh, man. And the last game on our list, Vanguard. The oldest one in the collection from 1981. Oh, jeez. Is that it is another old. shoot 'em up It's another shoot 'em up It's a twin oh, stick man. shoot 'em up because you move with the right... You move with the left stick and aim with the right stick, but only in four directions. So I have to ask, is the old man with the light just coming out of his eyes relevant to what's going on on the screen at all? I mean... I don't know. He's, pr he's, probably, he's probably the brother to the guy in the Phalanx box. He's, he's, he's a little high right now. He thinks he's a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he thinks. I mean, he... <laughs> there are lasers coming out of his eyes. Yeah, but can he shoot the lasers, lasers coming out of his back? Because the ship can do that. Only in his mind, John. Only in his mind. We finally found our savior against the bipedal tigers. It's old man with laser eyes. Patrick, old man with lasers coming out of his eyes. It's too bad he's too busy getting high and yeah, not helping. No, it's too busy that it's it's too bad that he's too busy <laughs> distracted by oh my holy shit, there's lasers coming out of my eyes. Take away the color, this could almost be a Vectrex game. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I'm wondering. Well, it was 1981. Now we're in stage two. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, I'm wondering if this ever got an Atari port or anything like that. I mean, probably not, because um, this is uh, well, the the changing colors and stuff is neat, I suppose. Yeah, you, you have to have different standards for 1981. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, did you like get an invincibility star there? That's what the uh, energy thing was. Honestly, the the speed and the moving uh, backgrounds is probably actually pretty impressive for that time because many games at this point were just like one screen like Donkey Kong or Pac-Man or something you know you didn't or Galaga where it was just dots <laughs> yeah you didn't really see the areas moving like this back then very often so it's, it's uh, this game did have an Atari 2600 oh wow okay uh, port and a 52 did you just crash into the wall <laughs> yes this is one of those touch the walls and die games ah uh. So the, the fact that the direction of the scrolling level changes as you go is quite relevant to the challenge. Mm. It looked like you just got blown up out of nowhere there, to me, but, you know. No. <laughs> the end. The, the end. end. The end. <laughs> that was how the story ended. With a spectacular wipeout. Uh, yeah, the, how like most collections it had... fire is going to end. Yeah, you know, like most collections, though, it does have a museum feature. Let's play Atom lot, where, Smasher. <laughs> where you can look at, you know, all the promo material and other things oh. like magazine references and all that. My favorite episode of Naruto, Sasuke vs. Commander. <laughs> do, do we get to see, like, the horrible uh, uh, magazine articles from back in the day with incorrect screenshots that are just are, that, well, to look better than the actual game? I love that They're, stuff, though. Yeah, there are scans and stuff of magazine articles and promo material and all that. I always take a look at those screenshots to see whether or not they're using, like, beta uh, screenshots or, you know, just cut content in general. You can, uh, it's kind of unrelated, but the uh, the uh, Legacy Collection, the X Legacy Collection has that. And they're clearly using beta footage of Mega Man X1. Whoa, hold the phone. Paddle fighting, Mania. fighting golf. Fighting yeah, golf. The, yeah, the fighting series. Fighting Notice, sucker. Oh, you know that console, the console version's graphics there don't look particularly bad. Yeah, the, <laughs> um, it's very interesting to see the difference between, like, the console port and the arcade version. Uh, how, how, many, how many games in total are there here? Also, uh, what it, goes, it, goes, it goes through 1990. What streets? As far as the that? museum goes. Is that another beat-em-up? I believe so. Hmm. Yeah, ad yeah, advertising the behind the fits. scenes. Ah... Uh. It's pretty much the only way we're keeping assets like this preserved is via collections such as this. Back when video game concept concept art was drawn by the director's um, elementary school children. Ryan, you are shameless. <laughs> it's the manual. <laughs> <laughs> I chose this one because I have no idea what's going on in that game. <laughs> was that Athena doing a Kamehameha wave? Probably. It was her yes. Psycho Crusher thing. <laughs> Don't worry, I balanced it out with the Kari Warriors, Sean. 
Yeah. yeah. So now all the now we can. Oh, uh, I don't know. There's not any ass shots of the soldiers shooting Kamehameha waves, <laughs> so doesn't seem quite as fair. But yeah, that was that was the SNK 40th anniversary collection. Uh, thanks so much, SNK, for letting us look at it early. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick this up later.